I'm going to tell you first and foremost, apologies for the daggone um, distraction you're going to hear in the back. Uh, and if I have to pause this video, just in the meantime, you see she is back here really not letting me work. But it's cool. That's Trinity back there. Clap. Hey, y'all give it up for her. She doing what she do best. Doing what she do best. Just wrecking stuff. Like. You know, um, just a little small little stop. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta tap on the butt sometimes. She is just hard headed, uh, but it's all right. We are talking about Red Martini Lounge down here in Atlanta. Now this is a club that got evicted, right? They owed over fifty five thousand dollars in in rent. They was told uh, that their lease was out in August, and they had to be out by December. And they still for a whole year, they have not. Went in there and moved all their stuff out. So, let me put this on the screen for you. This is wild. Look at that. This is on Fox 5. This is on Instagram. Shout out ATL School for reposting all. Getting it all in a nice little, right on one plate for me. You know what I mean? So I can, uh, you know, so I can eat. You know what I mean? Look at this. Remains of the Red Martini Lounge looted after being evicted. Boy, evicted from the Buckhead location. And I don't want to play this because it looked like I don't even want to hear what they really got to say uh, right now. But, yeah, Red Martini. And then there is another one on the south side the same day, like probably 10 minutes from where I live. It was a beauty store where the owner had died. And uh, the next point in contact said just give it away, give it to them for free. So a lot of people pulled up and took so much stuff from these guys. Let's watch this. Let's get into this madness, man. Um So as you can see, that's bottles. So as you can see, Trinity, no, Trin. Hold on. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. So now I'm going to have to actually edit this one. I didn't play. Usually I just press record and go try to nail it all in one take. Uh, these reactions, man. But I've been having a lot of fun with y'all. Thank y'all for sticking here with me. If you're still here, like, subscribe. If you like it, you know, um, why not? But yeah, this is a, and a lot of people was mad about this, that they was actually looting it. They like, man, y'all some bums. Y'all down there doing this. Y'all stealing, blah, blah. Come on. This is free stuff. This is, this is free stuff. What are we talking about here? <laughs> Knock it off. Ooh. Yeah, they getting bottles. They was getting them outside, uh, outside door heaters. You know what I mean? I mean them outside heaters, gas powered. Let's go to some more. Let's see some more. This look. This is early. This is when they first did it. Look, you got beer over here. Look, my boy right here, Chase, he paid. That boy be getting some money. He's still talking about, I'm about to come grab some bottles. Come on, man. What you talking about? These is, these is, these free, free, free merchandise. What are we talking about? You can't never be, I don't care. You can't be too paid. I mean, you got to be at a certain level. You got to be up there before you're not about to, if you low and you live 5, 10, 15 minutes away from this, summertime and you in a, we about to go into a damn near other epidemic, another uh recession, so to speak. You know, World War Three, all this stuff talking about it's 2024 election year, of course, but come on, man. And you telling me these regular people who probably ain't making as much as you, you judging them because they going out here getting some free liquor, some free beer, you know, um, some free furniture, some free stuff. It's out there. Somebody got to grab it and you, they ain't stealing it. It's been vacant. For a year, they ain't stealing it. They out here just receiving it. Atlanta wild for this one, though. But yeah, Atlanta is wild for this one, man. Uh, let's see what else. Let's see if there's any more footage. I know that one. That couldn't be all of it. Oh, I know who else I got on here. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Um, Bankhead. A little Bankhead. Yeah, yeah. He had some footage of this shit, man. Yeah, a lot of people was mad, man. I'm like, come on. How can you be mad? How can you be mad? What are you talking about? Um, Okay, that's the South Side. I'm going to play that one next. But matter of fact, I'm going to just show you both of them. Because Girl, they happened on the same day. Now, this is the barbershop. What you're going to see is wigs. What you're going to see is do-rags. What you're going to see is shampoo, conditioner, the beard grease. I would have went out there with some beard grease. Mm-hmm. Come on, I've been out here for a minute. I ain't tripping off what you're talking about. Look, 
Heads. Y'all can get out there and get some heads on y'all mama. <laughs> All that merchandise. Now, on this one, the owner had passed away. So, like I said, they contacted the next person of kin, the emergency contact. And she said, hey, I can't get over there. Give it away. I don't know what's in there. Like, <laughs> and that's how it started. But we're going to try to get back to the other one. Hold on. Yeah, we just keep seeing the same ones. Okay, okay. But, yeah, people was real mad about this. Let's see what some of these people said. You're going to be surprised. Uh, this is a beauty supply store and the liquor store today. Yep. Are they selling anything? Uh, my parents and neighbor, I'm about to go ask her for a favor. Look, uh, bank kids, you know, you got the best army party. Hey, shout them out. Yeah. Upper river. Day. I told you I was on the South side national eviction day. It gotta be, if you ain't paid your rent. Come on, man. F behind $50,000 in rent. Come on, bro. Making all this money for the club. You playing. You was waiting to get evicted, man. So these is the same day. Look at this one on the side. side. Shit has just gotten out of hand. I'm telling you, this is so close to my house. Right near where they are at right now is a bunch of, I would say, like shared living. You know, um, multi-complex units. You know what I'm saying? Where it's a lot of people. I'm, I'm trying to figure out uh, what would be convenient saying. You know, it's just like apartment complexes. You know what I say? It's like a lot of them. Mostly black folk. Yeah, this is wild. Look at that. Umbrellas out. Boy, they got the bonnets out. Oh, my gosh. They not playing. Like, Bruh. listen, y'all post this one, two times. ATL, what, what, what? That one person is going to reach out to three people who are going to reach out to three more people. And I'm talking all in less than three minutes. This is all going to happen in three minutes. It's going to go to three, to three, to three, to three, to that. I mean, it's just going to go to infinity. And this is going to pop up. I'm telling you, yo, it was, it was madness. Let's listen to what this cop said. Medical attention. So any vehicle that will be blocking and left unintended will be towed at the owner's expense. Second of all. They going to tell you. We're going to threaten to tow you up. We're going to get some money out of y'all motherfuckers today. So he don't know what time the people getting evicted. He ain't gonna sit in here and let ain't gonna let nobody steal nothing from here um, or take anything. Even though, like he just said, to contact the next to Ken. We don't know how much time they got. I'm, I'm gonna show you what they eventually do. And this is what I think is so fucked up that they decided to do on the south side. Like, come on, you got all these people who you know clearly might be more in need or whatever. Um, Especially it's some free shit. They've been selling it to them for years. They've been selling this hair products to these people for years and years and years. And now yeah, they got a chance to actually give back with just trash, garbage, right? I'm going to show you what these sick motherfuckers do, bro. I'm going I'm to take it to you right now. Are y'all counting five? Look, this look like a funeral. This look like uh Kamala or Kam yeah Kamala or Kamala, whatever. She in town or something. Look at this escort. Yeah, they decided to go get some prisoners to pick up all the shit, load it into a dumpster truck, then take it to a dump where only then these other people were able to get it. They would rather throw all this shit away than to give it to the people. This is crazy. And I've never ate at Old Time. I might go there. Yeah, they not done. That's what I'm saying. Look at this shit. Look how far back it goes. That's how much product and people they had to pay to sit here and deliver this stuff, to transport it just so the people wouldn't be able to get it. That's crazy. That's Terra Boulevard. Come on, man. Get it to these people, man. Let them have it. Come on. And Clayton County, man, they talk about Clayton County all the time, man. Don't 
you go, you go to jail in Clayton County, man, hey, you're going to have a hard time. I'm telling you, you go to jail in Clayton County, and the police is known to do wild stuff. Look up Clayton County down here in Atlanta and look at just, an, I think they locked up the last sheriff or something because he did something illegal. Like, yo, these niggas would take your Hellcat, your SRT, your art, whatever, and paint it and wrap it in some crazy ass police camo, you know, um, themed out shit and ride it in your face and put their name on your shit. They like that. Bruh. What the fuck? I'm just saying, yo. And look, they even said that there were multiple reports of police officers FaceTime and other people showing them what was down here and what they got. A lot of people believe that these folks is going to take it to the dump and they going to loot it first. The own cops is going to take some of this stuff. Come on. These is black cops, black women cops down here. You know what I mean? Uh, come on, man. They got a whole bunch of black family that could use that. And they thinking, yeah, we get first dibs. Fuck that. Before y'all, because you do know what would happen as soon as they say, all right, go. That shit would have been like, ah. So I will give them that. It would have been crazy like <laughs> niggas would have been fighting over there that's what i'm saying and i'm gonna be uh getting a bigger steam deck thing and multiplying you know getting a lot more sound we're gonna have some fun with this yo i'm just getting started with this reaction man y'all go i'm here forever <laughs> only if you like and subscribe though Yeah, it's the same video. All right, we out of there. Um, I don't know why I just made y'all do that. Let's see. You had to be there to see it. No, no, I ain't got to be there to see that. Yeah, let's see what happens here. And this is it. All right, we just uh we just seen that. See what he said. Bottles on bottles. They said it's go time, baby. And this at the club. Yeah, they getting bottles. They getting up. This is so sad and y'all embarrassing as fuck. I just want to ask this person, Miss Epic Flavors, what were they supposed to do? Uh, where was it going to go? Just throw bottles in the trash and let some homeless people come pick it up? Like, what? what what's the answer here? What is the answer? Is it too late to go? Smart person. Come on, man. Let's see. Let's check out these questions. One lesson learned is when you die, you can't take it with you. Get a wheel. Good job. We'll give you that one. This is the most orderly shit I've seen, though. Correct. Great, great response. What else we got? Got a black on black on business. We not doing that. Okay. Uh, so nobody gonna grab the healthy oranges. That one I'm saying. I'm going for the fucking fruit. What are we talking about? This lady got a sharpened cot. Smart woman went right next. Oh, got a sharpened cot from the uh, next door over. Come on, sad. <laughs> Bad, wasted just wasted three characters for that. Uh, where she get the shopping cart from? Okay, good question, good question. Let's get. Uh, who they talking about? Who got the shopping cart? Look at this nigga. He he humbly trying to collect some shit. See, I don't like that. He over there being all humble. Let me hands in my pocket, walking by, looking down, seeing, and, and them hands gonna come out, nigga. As soon as, come on, knock it off, bro. You already there, Jack. Let's go. I got Mr. Humble over here. Like, oh, I missed her. I don't even care. I missed her. Ain't caring. Nigga, look, at look at this nigga. Look how he walk up. Just looking down like, oh, I'm too good for that. But shit, what y'all got in there? Head ass. Come on, man. Put them hands out here too. Nigga. Knock it off, bro. You know, you see that. Come on, man. Come on, man. He folks out here wilding, dog. Now, now we'll go see what Fox News talking about. They might have a little more scope. Let me mute that. And I hope I can't. We can't get in trouble for showing their stuff. Martini is being evicted. Nightclub says the landlord told them to leave today. Word got out on social media, leading to a crush of people heading there, hoping to cash in on what was put out on the curb. Sounds a lot like that beauty shop mm -hmm. in Clayton County, doesn't it? Fox 5 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a nice little uh, shout out to him. Good little um, icing on the cake there. But, yo, you see the spirit of these people? Look at them. They getting free shit. They like, let's go. Like, this is a blessing. He owed $50,000. And they don't care. The owner said, put all their stuff out. The owner can't keep it. Give it to the people. And if he he had a year to come and get his stuff out of there. And he didn't do it. I don't feel sorry for him. Sorry. Christopher King is live in Buck. Sorry, I ain't sorry. Kid tonight. Christopher, what's it look like there now? And didn't get a nigga on the scene. Why can't he sit in there and you take your ass out there? Well, Russ Gordon is calm out here right now. Take a look. This empty parking lot is all that's left. But earlier... Hundreds of people were out here in the back of Red Martini. Why is that? The lounge's possessions were tossed out into the parking lot after a drawn out court battle. People came out trying to score whatever they could get their hands on. Skyfox overhead as yellow furniture sits stacked in the rear parking lot. Crews load get TVs it, get into it. a moving truck. Get Hundreds it, move. Get it. It's mine. Was being Back to hey, hey, hey. Martini, a bar in Buckhead was forced to shut its doors Wednesday afternoon. Yeah, they got a little eviction. The lounge and the landlord have been locked in a year-long battle. A man Year long. Who there it goes. As bar owner Brian Alt told us off camera, the landlord is kicking out Red Martini. This, even though he says he paid his rent on time. The landlord decided that August 7th was a great day to pull the plug. Troy Gibson identified himself as someone who knows the bar owner. He says the eviction came as a surprise. Nobody knew it was happening. Okay. Fox 5 got hold of court documents detailing the fight. A Fulton County magistrate judge. This is what we need. They coming through. See, I guess this is where you got to get the news. They points. They did their research on this Back one. Back in December ruled in favor of the landlord, Ralph and Rita Venture, LLC. Judge Todd Ashley wrote the tenant. Red Martini, quote, forcibly retook possession of an excluded landlord from the premises on August 11th of last year. The decision, quote, placing landlord in peaceful and quiet possession of those premises known as Red Martini. The judge last December ordered the Fulton County Sheriff to, quote, remove the defendant. I'm surprised they uh, shut down. Word of the eviction spread quickly on social media. A throng of on to Whoa, quote, whoa, whoa. Y'all see that? Hold up. I'm surprised they uh, shut down. Word of the eviction. Whoo, what we got over here? Is that a couch? You got some couch. You know some couches in there. Some chairs. Come on. Some sections, nigga. I done spent so much money in this motherfucker. Come on. Yo. Bruh. I'm taking a section home. I done bought the section. The section, them couches and shit, probably worth what? A piece. What we thinking for that? How much y'all paying for one of these couches? Um, They look like low, le low Legos from here. But yeah, I'm only paying about maybe $400 for each couch. Maybe, you know, Um, and they look like it's wood under them. Usually they are cheap. They're just wood. Then they put these little couch coverings over it because they know you ain't going to be sitting there too long. Look, I think this is this sideways, upside down, and you sit on the other side. You see, this is cheap shit. Like, that's probably what I was like. I don't want that. What am I going to do with that? Them shit's too big. But, yeah, look at them. They look big from up here. That's crazy. Um, Yeah, knock it off. Bread quick. But. I don't even want them. We give us the bottles. Give me a, a, a outside heater. That's valuable. Social media. A throng of I'm coming for this type of shit. Bow. Give me one of them. Anything that you work in the studio or in a garage for that. That's what I'm looking at. Y'all looking at the wrong shit. That's what I'm coming for. Um, what else? Where them speakers at? Y'all get the speakers out there, mother? Shit, yeah, you know I mean, where that kitchen in? Let me see what y'all got up in there. Give me some of them cast iron pans, nigga. I'm looking. I'm thinking about the right shit. Y'all out here playing with the bottles. See, I ain't gonna blow nothing because I, 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 I can't, you can't drink a cast ironing. Can't drink a, a space heater, outside gas heater. If they could pick up what remained. And Shorty just <laughs> head ass. Awesome. Get out of here. Like, what's, what's the next call? <laughs> Y'all missed the point, but that's because y'all messed y'all messed that up. Y'all niggas got the wrong shit. Who told y'all how to come on, man? Who told y'all how to get it? Now let's go over. Let's go over to y'all record some of this one. Wigs, braiding hair, makeup, lashes. They coming, they coming out something crazy for these. This was the this should have been in all caps. And this one. Wigs, braiding hair, makeup, lashes. Like Get out of my way, shorty. That is mine. Let me go. Look, look. then they brought in an envoy dump. Yeah, yeah. With incarcerated workers to clear the area. What did I say? A dump. Uh, dump. I'm sorry. An envoy dump. So, 
pretty wild. Uh, when the citizens are evicted, their stuff is up for grabs. So we were assuming that things were up for grabs. That's what they say. It's any. Well, where's the interview? So I ain't got to play this. Notice news broke today. A store facing eviction. Inventory and restore. Place on the parking lot. Caused a frenzy. Of course. And damn, if the first people, second people was there, they could have been like, hey, don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. 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 Just wait. Just don't pull your phone out and try to get viral off this shit thinking my shit going to be on ATL Scoop. You just fucked it up for everybody. If you came upon this, this was your little blessing to slide up on and say, hold on, what's happening over there? Are they, if it, let me ride over there. And you got to be a bold motherfucker to ride over there and see the police putting somebody else's shit on the street. And you thinking like, is that free? It's only then if a lot of people was around there, you would drive over and be like, that shit might be free. You feel me? You wouldn't just ride by, see somebody getting evicted and think, damn, let me stop. Because you would think the person that's getting evicted is there. And y'all, if that, come on, man, that's nasty work for the first couple of people that pulled up and then was like, yo, is this the, hey, it take, a, it take a real smart, curious motherfucker to go up on there and be like, yo, what's happening over here? Oh, this person getting evicted. Or they walked up and said, hey, are they getting evicted? Be like, oh, is this stuff free or something like, yo. You got to ask them questions, but then you got to stay the hell off social media. Man, that's a crazy. This is this, yesterday was crazy. Is that all we got from these people? You know what I mean? Like, look at the scene again. I'm trying to show uh where they had some um I don't know if baller alert have it. I don't know if they got baller alert on here, but uh that'll have um. Cause it was they actually showed the prisoners picking that stuff up. I can't believe um they didn't make baller alert or shade room. Come on. Y'all out of touch with Atlanta. This was a new story for everybody. Come on. But yeah, Atlanta. You know, hey, Atlanta is Atlanta. Atlanta always make the news, don't it? It's always some shit going down in Atlanta. Atlanta's place to be right now for uh I mean, I'm telling you, it is. I mean it's some other places too, but it's definitely um, it's definitely a place to be. Shave room. You see, I don't go there often. They Democrat it on like a mofo, boy. That's all they. That's all they on. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, bro. Look, she acting like it's all good in there. They probably treating it good. Is that? Yeah, I don't think they got it on there nowhere. Oh yeah, party in the parking lot. Look. Too funny. Ha, 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 ha. And tell your ass ain't getting nothing. And look at the cars lined up. Come on. Bomb wrestling. Soon as they walk out, these folks in a bomb wrestling for everything. They said for everything. It's over with. And it, just think, he was right. If they just would have let them do their thing, take all their stuff, they wouldn't have had to waste their whole day out there in the heat, bringing these people from jail to come out here and pick this shit up. Then for y'all to transport, then for y'all to guard it, then for y'all to loot it. Come on, y'all should have just Both got in the bomb wrestling for everything. I'm talking about everything. Everything. That's all they got on that, an eviction party. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it was, man. But, hey, that's Atlanta for you. So, lessons learned from that. Pay your rent on time. Um, I always have a plan B. Hey, and then for the police, man, let it go. Let it go. Y'all doing too much, man. If y'all like this, like it. Comment it, comment it. But if you share it, I really, really, really love you for that one, man. I appreciate it. What is it? The time we respect the computer. Yeah, I've had one of them. Damn. Ain't no use for one of them no more. If them, oh, y'all can't even see what I'm talking about. All right, sorry. I'm out.